Hi, quite a few people do unpacking videos of what they've bought. Now this is slightly different because a lot of this stuff I've had for quite a while but I haven't really combined everything to get anything very very useful out of it. So anyone who might have watched my Arduino videos, this might be familiar. This is the Freeno projects board. I've done a video on um, when I first started playing with it, um, which I'll leave a link to at the bottom. But it's got all sorts of things like it's got um, joystick buttons, buzzers, passive and active. That's where you put the Ard um, not, yeah, the Arduino. I mean, I've got an R3 there at the moment. Um, just in case I, I don't want to risk blowing up the R4, you need to do a bit of investigation. So we've got dip switches, we've got relay, we've got LED, we've got lots and lots of stuff. And then as well as that, you get all sorts of things that you plug in over there, including a motor, a servo, RGB, LED, um, keypad, remote control with receiver blah 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 anyway um all very useful but i've done a video on this but you can also get a version of this for <coughs> excuse me the raspberry pi and it isn't quite the same and all the um elements like that um so, some are stuck on you know you, you don't take off like the passive and active buzzer um, and the potentiometers but button caps I can just steal from the Arduino one that is actually from the Arduino one the layout's a bit different and the main difference is that you don't get the infrared remote control um, to plug I don't know where it plugged in um, so what you do um, well, I just bought this. I just bought the bare board, and so it's got the back to it with all the stand, stand up, brass stand up things. And then that's where you put your uh, Raspberry Pi. You can put in, if you have a zero, you, <coughs> excuse me, the standoffs are there, so you screw it in like that. Or if you have a normal sized Raspberry Pi you put it there like that and then <clears throat> what you do is you take your connector you put it like that and you put the other end in your Raspberry Pi now I'm not actually using Raspberry Pi at the moment because I'm playing with the Arduino and the Pico. So I wondered whether I could actually take my, wherever it is, I've got too many things out. If I could take my Pico like that and somehow um, work out which um, point which pin there would go to that pin there. So I was going to try and say, right, pin 16 goes to that and, and make a kind of real n rat's nest of cables and see if I could use this lovely, lovely board with a Pico. Now I got, I don't know, about halfway through and I saw advertised by um, the Pi Hut this little chap. Now this is called a Pico to Pi hat, uh, Pico to Pi hat. And what it does is you plug your Pico in like that, and then you, you've got all your um, colored, don't know if you can see that, yes you can, uh, different colored um, pins there, and you plug your cable in there and then I could plug that in like that like that only that's plugged in or well, you get the idea and I thought that's wonderful but I realized 
after uh, there was one major difference between the Raspberry Pi one and the Arduino one. The Arduino there has exposed pins and the Raspberry Pi one doesn't, which is a bit of a limitation. So I thought, right, what can I do to get around that? So I have this I bought a while ago and it's called a Pico Decker and what this is, is you have your Pico that you plug in there try and plug it in without bending it yep you have your Pico there and then if you have a hat or something then you can plug it several in at the same time. Now I have this um, little screen that I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with because there's no um, support for it and what I've done is I've plugged it in to that end one so it didn't cover anything up and then I still have pins free to use but we don't want that in this case. So I thought what I could do was I could take my um, Pico to Pi thingy and plug it in there like that. Only I haven't quite because I might bend it. And then what I oh it is in. Then what I could do was I would plug the cable in to my free node board. I would plug the other end of the cable in. Ah, disaster! I don't know if you can see, they won't actually fit together because if I put that in, then I can't get the the uh, Pico. If I sorry, if I get the cable in there onto the Pico to Pi, I then cannot get the Pico Decker right down. So I had a route about and I found two of these. I've lost one of them. Ah no, I found two of these extending header thingy what's it whatever they're called so I put one on that one on there oh I'm very ham fisted down the other one on there then I can put the cable on here cable then I can put that on there I won't actually do it because I've bend something and then connect that to my free node board and you have it like that and that means I can connect my Pico W to my free node board so that means Pico W connected to that which is connected to that board and I've got um, pins free which I think is pretty damn good especially as I suppose it's all leftovers. Everything is leftovers apart from... I spent £15 on that board and that little um, Pico to Pi connector thing um, wasn't expensive either. So I will be using this in later lessons, but I just thought you might be interested. <laughs>